We are just a small part of space. Our planet lies in a small galaxy of a billion stars with billions of separate galaxies in the sky. Stars die and become supernovas all the time. There is no harm in saying that there is one happening right now somewhere in space. We just can't see it. However, there is one we will be able to see from our planet without using any special NASA equipment. The reason being is that it will happen so close to us that the explosion can be seen by the naked eye. If you look up to the sky on a clear night, you will see a constellation, Orion the Hunter, with his shield in one arm and the other arm stretched high to the heavens. A bright red dot called Betelgeuse marks Orion's shoulder. And over the years, the dimming of the star has captivated astronomers for many years now. Unlike ancient stargazers who made up stories about the changing light, we now know that the star is losing its brightness because it's dying. Yes, this star, which is 700 times bigger than our sun, is becoming a supernova. Someday it will explode and we will witness a celestial show in the sky before it disappears from the night sky forever. In 2019, astronomers got excited when the star started to dim abnormally, and it is estimated that the star has dropped 2.5 times in magnitude. The idea of supernova became the center of attention for many people. There are many speculations on how the dying star will look from Earth on its final day. The astronomers are still not clear about when the supernova will take place. Still, they improved their level of accuracy using observations taken during Supernova 1987A, the closest known star to explode in centuries. Life on Earth will be unaffected, but that doesn't mean the supernova will go unnoticed. It is said that it will shine as bright as the half moon for more than three months. Andy Howell, an astronomer from Stanford University, explains that all this light will be concentrated into one point. So it would be this incredibly intense beacon of light in the sky that would cast shadows at night and that you could see during the daytime. Serafina Nance from California University says that when Betelgeuse supernova dims, Orion will miss its shoulder forever. Still, there is no need to worry about the effects. Earth, or even our solar system, will not be affected by the radiations, as it has to be only a dozen light years away to harm us. And Betelgeuse is roughly 724 light years away from us. So we're way out of the danger zone. Andy Howell says that astronomical observations are already difficult when the moon is bright, Howell says. There would be no dark time for a while. We can observe it with most ground-based telescopes, or most in space, either like SWIFT or the Hubble Space Telescope. If it does go off in our lifetime, we will know before we can see the explosion. The Earth will start detecting neutrons and gravitational waves as much as 24 hours in advance. The best guess as to what's going on right now stems from what astronomers already know about the star and others like it. As Nance explains, the research shows Betelgeuse's brightness could be changing for several reasons. Some astronomers even suspect that several different dimming mechanisms are playing out at once. Considering the enormous mass of that star and the distance, there's no exact date for when the heavenly fireworks will happen. And second is, we had never seen a dying star near Earth before. No one knew yet how a star behaves weeks or months before it explodes. There's more to supernova hunting than just starting at Betelgeuse, and thankfully, the other major supernova candidates are viewable in the sky at other times of the year. Take Antares for an example, and it is another red supergiant in the constellation Scorpius. It's even closer to us at just 600 light years. It can be seen on both hemispheres from March to October. Eta Carinae is a hypergiant star roughly a thousand times bigger than our own sun and is 8,000 light years away from us and its life is nearing its end. Other stars relatively close to us that could be a supernova include Deneb, 
Rigel, and Spica. The latter two are visually close to Betelgeuse in the night sky. Research also suggests that a star called V. Zetita, 7,800 light years distant in the tiny constellation of Sagitta, could explode around the year 2083. So, if you're out hunting for supernovas, know that Betelgeuse isn't the only star that could explode. Are you excited for this to happen? Let us know in the comments below. If you found the video useful, give it a like and subscribe to the channel. I will see you in the next one.